We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. This isn't for you. I know you think this is for you. <laughs> I thought it was. So we don't get you to get hailed to the chief when you <laughs> walk in late. <laughs> I was like, wow, we're really doing this up. No. My arrival. No, this is for pre President Biden who wants to run again. So he announced this morning that he's running ah. in the second term. And then you got a former President Trump. He's also planning on running. Uh, several other smaller players that have no shot are also planning on running. You never know. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is not running, but they have TV ads already. Have you watched it? Fox 5 has them all the time. Well, that's what I was going to say. Isn't, isn't he running? I, I got a circular in the mail from him. I got like, I got ads already. But, I got political mailers for next November's election. I'm grossed out. Ugh, can you believe it? It's almost here again. No, it's not almost here. It's more than 18 months away. I'm so What? It's sick. 2023. Yeah, it's, it's April 2024. 2020. November 2024. Awful. What month are we? A April. April? <laughs> Okay, yeah. that is kind of far off. It's pretty awful. You got to get an early start on it, no, though. You don't. No, no, no. In, in the United Kingdom, they have a six-week, um, you know, political like season, and then they vote six weeks. That's Gosh. no time, though. We, we listen. I know that in America we think we do everything right. No, we got to look to them, and we need to do more like that because <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Whatever the case, there we go. So Biden's running again. Trump's running again. Probably potentially going to have Trump v. Biden again. Because, you know, we loved the movie the first time. Let's yeah. do it again. Let's do it all over again. Uh, uh, yesterday, I was so excited about this. I actually uh, texted you to announce this on the air, and you didn't know what the heck I was talking about. Yeah. Mojave Max finally left his burrow after being stashed away with two me female tur uh, turtles, or tortoises, I'm sorry, underground for months. He stepped out yesterday at 3.40 p.m. is the latest he has ever emerged by over a week. And I was so excited, and you... You, you did not come up in the Nevada school system. Neither did you. Yes, but I know Mojave Max, so what's your excuse? I've never heard of him before. Okay, now you have. I have now. I mean, he's kind of like a ripoff to Punxsutawney Phil. Okay, Phil. shut your mouth. He's a ripoff. He's not a ripoff. Punxsutawney <laughs> Phil stinks, okay? <laughs> First of all, been, there's been at least two or three Punxsutawney Phils. There's only been one Mojave Max. Only one. But, like, who made this turtle special? He is special. Why? Because he's Mojave Max. Because why? Because he's Mojave Max. You know what? I don't like your attitude. No. <laughs> you're show up late, and then you're going to besmirch the good name of Mojave Max. How dare you? He was your, just underground for months feet. with two female tortoises. Mojave Max is the man. <laughs> How dare you? I don't really. Um, whatever. Hey, you should have taken. Max. Should have taken an HOV lane today because they they are free right now. They're not. So like from six to eight a.m. and from four to six p.m. You need to have two people or more in your car to take the HOV lanes. But other than those four hours, now it is a free for all Monday now through Friday. Just free game. Yes, and then the weekends you don't even have to worry about what time it is because weekends you can all drive in the HOV lane. So now you can be slow in the left lane. Nice. Which is excellent. I, yes. You, they were doing 24 hours there for a second. So, like, you know, we have to protect the left lane at 3 a.m. Yeah. Which was so dumb. Big dumb. Um. So, yeah, there we go. The HOV lanes. That starts today. Uh, electric bills pretty high. As a matter of fact, since 2021, the average user in Southern Nevada is paying about $850 more a year. No, that's and disgusting. Perfect time for me to get solar. Uh, that's in part due to the increasing cost of natural gas, which powers many of the power plants in Nevada. While the Nevada State Assembly estimates that the new, the average user in Southern Nevada will have an average bill by July of $470. <laughs> No! Oh, that is so gross. The bills used to be relatively cheap here. Like, the electric bills used to be kind of cheap. It's getting crazy fast. That's, like, that's not even livable, though. Like, to pay that much nothing, a month. Nothing about, like, the cost of living right now is livable. I know. Nothing about it is. But that's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that made me a little queasy. I'm yeah, not going to lie. Pretty awful. So there we go. You know, now we're just going to, I'm just going to power everything. I'm going to connect a little exercise bike to my uh, my house. Just, <laughs> like a, uh, you get home from work, yeah. you immediately hop on that bike. And you just 457 start hamsters. I'm going to connect their wheels 
<laughs> to the power grid. I think we're going to be okay. There you uh, go. Harry Reid International Airport just clocked the second most monthly visitors in its history. In March, the airport saw nearly 5 million passengers both arriving and departing. Holy cow. <laughs> Last night in Winnipeg, Golden Knights, dominant second period. All it took for the Knights to soar over the Jets. 4-2 final last night in Winnipeg. Knights taking commanding 3-1 series lead. They return to Vegas for a pivotal game five on Thursday. If they win, they move on to round two. Uh, weather, sunny, low to mid 80s. And there you go. There's your news. Uh, more at 1027VGS.com. Thanks for joining us. Woo! Go Knights, go!